when I was married to my first husband, he was he was stationed at Lionot on the Air Force Base in North Dakota. And I had an encounter with um non human entities myself. Um my husband and I had briefly separated and when I was asleep I remember seeing this really bright light and I thought it was the moon, it was just penetrating the room. So I got up to it and I couldn't find it, it just was like it was above where we were. And um, anyway, I was starting to go back off to sleep and I closed my eyes and um, my sleep, I'm one of these people that my sleep gets disturbed and I open my eyes. But, and remember what I've seen or what I've heard and I'll just go back off to sleep again um, unless I'm disturbed again um, so anyway I was um, laying in bed got myself tucked up in bed and I looked and I saw these beings and about oh, you can't see they weren't very tall not more than four foot, I would say, because I'm four foot ten. And um, to me, they're bluish gray. And I, um, I went back off to sleep because I, to me, I thought I was hallucinating these things. So I went off to sleep. The following morning, I woke up, and there was this hole in my navel, and it was oozing fluid and blood. So. I um, immediately went to the doctor and um, when I went to the doctor, you have to excuse this eye, uh, it's this eye, uh, there's something wrong with it I think, it's the lid it's drooping down. Um, anyway, um, I went to the doctor at, well, at the base in the emergency room because all my abdomen was right hard. So I went in there, and he's, first of all, it was the lieutenant that came in, I think. No, it was the captain, I think, came in to examine me. And he started quizzing me, and that, this is an Air Force Base Hospital, okay? I wanted to know who did the procedure on me. I was, this was 86, so I mean, I don't, I wasn't really, understand what they meant by procedure and you know I didn't know what that they were talking about um, you know medical procedure because this is before my gallbladder went so I didn't know what they were talking about they, they must have thought I was lying and um, anyway I kept telling them what are you talking about I just want something for the pain and just, you know for this oozing that's coming out of my navel. So um, anyway, they, uh, it, it, I was getting hammered by these two um, officers. I think I've mentioned this before anyway um, to you, but I'm just hoping that I get across how um, to be quite honest, the beings, okay, they put a hole in my, in my navel and I later found out they took some DNA, no big deal. But, um, the officers at the base, because there was two of them, and I was being interrogated and it was, and the person that was with me said, what are you doing? You know, there was someone else with me, I forgot to mention, I think. You know, even they were puzzled why I was being interrogated the way I was. You know, all I wanted was treatment. I don't know, I don't know what it was. I, I don't really know is that I was uncomfortable. My abdomen was hard, and, um, my abdomen was hard, and I just needed, um, some kind of pain relief, because it was really painful. And the, um, doctors, they just kept interrogating, interrogating me. And at the finish, that's why I just keep, keep going past the window. And at the, in the finish, um, 
they just gave up because I obviously I so I didn't mention what I had seen prior to the whole because I as far as I was concerned I was imagining these beings anyway because my other encounters in the past when I was growing up were more human like so you know to me it's, well okay these beings are human like but they weren't like what I had seen previously the ones I'd seen previously were more like us and um the, so I didn't bother mentioning it because I thought, well, what's the point of mentioning it? Because you're going to think I'm, you know, hallucinating or something. But I think, because that base, Minot Air Force Base, or Minot, however you pronounce it, it is, well, that whole area is, um, oh, it is a secure base. What I mean by secure base is, um, it, it has missile silos all around it. And it's a sack base. I don't know if it still is now, but it was at the time that I lived there. And um, <laughs> it it's one of these bases that is of interest to the UFO um, what do you call it? Um, passengers uh, to the to the beings that pilot these UFOs. That, Mana is um, is a base that is of interest because it is a base that has Mr. Silos around it, and it's not uncommon to see UFOs near the base or around the base. So obviously, I came I've come to the conclusion um, after. Um, doing some research and I think in my opinion that they had the craft that took me on radar and they um they, they took and they were trying to get me to come out and say yes um I was taken but you know what would they have done if I said yes I see these beings what would they have done to me where would I end up I wouldn't be able to tell my story now would I if I get told them that information, not only that, like I said, when I opened my eyes, I thought I was imagining them. Because like, like I told you just a minute ago, you know, the encounters I had before, they were more human-like. Although on the regression tape, one of them, I think one of them on the regression tape was reptilian, but these ones, these beings I hadn't encountered, they were more like clones. You know, like they, um, clo they were clonal-type beings. Um, self replicating, um, I don't know if they're asexual reproducers, but um, they're, they're clones. They, they all look the same. There's no differentiation between them, male or female. Um, but that's my story. Um, as you know, I've got leukemia, I've got chronic kidney disease, and spastic paraplegia, so. I've got nothing to hide and I am going to share with the YouTube community and other websites where my health will allow me to. Just, uh, I'm also studying as well with OU um, biology. But the thing is, um, I want to share, because the leukemia lights hammering me, um, I want to share with you all my experiences related to the paranormal and how I feel about my illness and that so you know that um, everything I tell you is the truth and you know after I'm gone hopefully um, my message still stands so it's there for other people to research and learn from. I love you guys. Mm.